four out of five stars. I'm here with Simon, and it is such a treat for us to have you here at Salt Lake Comic Con. Welcome to the show. Uh, well, I'm really pleased to be here. Hello, everybody. Um, it's very exciting. My voice is a bit tired because I do nothing but talk all day long, but that's the best part of my job. <laughs> well, definitely. So I know for a lot of people out there, they're thinking, how can I do what he does? What advice would you give to them? And what, you mean being an actor or just coming along to these sort of things? I think both. Well, um, you need your tools of your trade. If you want to be an actor, learn your craft. Also get a second job. I used to use the phrase, learn to type. But uh, the younger generation don't even know what a typewriter is now. But in other words, have another skill because until the big thing comes along for you, you need to be able to pay your mortgage or your rent and pay for the bills and pay for the cat food. So uh, have another skill that you can sell, but always work on your craft. Opportunities come along and just be ready. Have a show reel about Mo, very important, because until you are Tom Hanks or Mel Streep, people will not know who you are or what you can do. So put together uh, you know, three or four minutes or something in, in different scenes, different scenarios, you know, being handsome and young and pretty and also being downtrodden and a tramp as well just to show your versatility and then just go for it and you're just a phone call and an audition away from being here okay love it great advice so i know a lot of fans want to know what are some up upcoming projects that they can look for you in well, um, the BBC are doing a, a, a new comedy series called Puppy Love, and it's due to be launched or broadcast in uh, autumn 2014. Uh, we did a pilot for it uh, this year, and the BBC said, green light the series. Woohoo! So um, that's really exciting. That. Yeah. So it's really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll be starting on that after Christmas. Okay, perfect. So we'll check you out in Puppy Love. Yes. And then also, I I'm curious to see what you think about Salt Lake Comic Con. I realize it's our first year. What do you think? Well, to be honest, I'm extraordinarily overwhelmed at the sheer numbers. It's, ex it's amazing that this is your first con and you've got 50 or 60,000 people here. Normally, first cons, you know, we're lucky to get a few hundred. Uh, so well done, done to Dan Farr and everybody else involved and your sponsors. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, can I thank uh, 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 Zach McGuinness uh, for us making the phone call? You know, because it was really, I had a job booked for this week and it got, and it got pulled. You know, it's going to happen in December now. Uh, and then 24 hours later, I get a phone call from Zach. Okay, got to love it. Uh, had Zach phoned 24 hours earlier, I would have had to say, sorry, I'm not available. So be prepared for exciting times because they come at short notice. Okay, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much and have a good time. Thank you, will do. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us at Salt Lake Comic Con on four out of five stars. Be sure to also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash four out of five stars. Yeah.